Hey, put him good day, everybody, in Lehigh Valley Phantoms fans. This is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take as we check in on our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. After two hard-fought losses this past weekend, and one where uh, Felix Sandstrom got banged up to start the weekend, and then in another that the Phantoms fell to the Springfield Thunderbirds, um, of course, against the Utica Comets, that was in the dreaded shootout. Um, and then... When it comes to the Springfield Thunderbirds, that was a 3-1 loss in a game that I thought Carrillo's Domenko, after coming in and playing well in relief, played well as well on Sunday. Earning his call, which kind of was by default because Sandstrom was banged up, but has been immaculately great of late for the Reading Royals. They've really missed him in the past couple games down there, and um, he's been very good in three games. The Phantoms just, he's basically like Cole Hamels with the Phillies, just can't score for him. But he's been fine, so now he's got to be the backup. He's got to dress. He got to dress his first time um, in the NHL yesterday, second time tonight, because Carter Hart apparently still has the eye infection. Um, he's not set to start according to the um, projected lines, but it would be cool maybe if they did put him in, but it is against St. Louis, so a hell of a team to get to debut against if that was the case. But Tanner Luzinski has looked good in his two games back. That's part of this team check-in, the check-in on Tanner Luzinski coming back. And really flying around the ice on Saturday, getting a goal on Sunday, and looking good. Obviously, it takes you a couple games to get your, not more than a couple games, it takes you a handful of games to get your full force feel back. But he's definitely looked good in these first two games here. Um, when it comes to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, though, there's also roster news where because of Cruz Domenico getting caught up, who, by the way, rightfully so, won the PSECU Player of the Week, uh, having to step up. Um, when Felix Sandstrom got banged up and getting it done, having a 1-6-6 goals against average, 49 saves and 52 shots, entered in relief on Saturday with 20 saves on 21 shots versus the top-tier Utica Comets, who are one of the top Calder Cup contenders. And then he played very well against the Springfield Thunderbirds, who are in the mix as well, in at least your top seven, if not five, uh, for Calder Cup contenders themselves. So... Uh, the Phantoms played two very good teams. Well, they've been much better since the 2022 calendar year and really since uh, the month of December. Um, now it's just about trying to get back in the win column. This is a bump in the road. The teams look better this far, especially this year, as I said. And it's about now trying to get through that bump in the road and uh, get a win as they play Wilkesbury tomorrow. And they're going to have, on top of uh, Karol Ustamenko, who you would think, if Felix Sandstrom can't go, would be back down with the Phantoms for tomorrow because the Flyers don't play again until Saturday. They'll be able to put Kirill in. And then they also still have Garrett Melkaff, and they signed Union College standout, who actually was in the Frozen Four in Philadelphia um, at the time with the Adirondack Thunders goaltender, Sekaropoulos, where uh, Sekaropoulos actually, um, Alex Sekaropoulos, went off for Union College um, when it came to him winning the Frozen Four National Championship in Philadelphia in 2014, which I believe was the same team Ghost, Jane Goss Despair was on. So, obviously, um, team connections there for the former uh, Philadelphia Flyer, Ghost Despair, who's doing solid in Arizona offensively. Um, Sekaropoulos, he's been meh for Anirondack this year, 6'10 and 0, 3, 6, 7, 8, 6, 8, 8, 6. Anirondack, I will, though, say is a inconsistent defensive team. They have their nights, and then they have their nights where that's why they're kind of in the middle of the pack. They're just not as squeaky clean. They're one of those middle-of-the-pack teams, so to speak. So uh, I think he could look better if the Phantoms continue to play better defensively, as they did in most facets of late. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how he plays up here. He's also just signed to a PTO, so I don't know how long he's going to realistically stick around. He'll probably end up being back down in Adirondack by the time uh, Sandstrom's back. Usti's either back down and playing, or you also have Garrett Melkoff, of course, who I would assume would get the start tomorrow over Sekaropoulos, um, since he has familiarity with the team, of course, if Kirill Ustamenko is not down to play. But... Uh, this has been a check-in on our Lehigh Valley Phantoms as Kirill Usti and Ustamenko, rightfully so, wins the player of the week going 48 for 52 and entered in relief playing great against Utica, played great against Springfield, two Calder Cup contender, and then got called up, got the dress, and gets the dress again tonight for the Philadelphia Flyers, so congratulations to him. Another Lehigh Valley Phantom that's doing great for the Flyers, four points in seven 
is Isaac Ratcliffe using his size really well to get in front of the net to create chances, and not just on the offensive end, but also on the defensive end like he has for our phantoms to break up plays and generate chances the other way. He's really playing great up on his skates up there, so that's a nice thing to throw in at the end of this video as well. But the phantoms have to try to get back into the wing calm against Wilkes-Barre Scranton a team that they're competing with to be able to be into that final player spot. Huge game tomorrow for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. I'll be previewing that game in full tomorrow. But this has been a Lehigh Valley Phantoms team check-in as they bring in Alex Sekaropoulos, a Union College standout that won the Frozen Four in Philadelphia from the Anirondack Thunder to throw a PTO as an extra goaltender. Garrett Melkaeff was, of course, still there for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And I would presume Kirill Ustamenko would be sent back down after tonight's game since the Flyers do not play again until Saturday. And again, Tanner Lezinski was a star of the weekend, even in losing efforts. He was really flying around the ice and looked really good. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Ghosty Take. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Views widget to keep the channel growing to 200 by the end of February or even a couple more as we're right on the 200 mark around there now. Peace out, everybody, and go Phantoms.